In this video I am going to show you top 3 awesome and fun video editing tricks in Filmora 12. Hope this video helps you as much as I am excited about it. To save your precious time, let's move on to the video. Open your Filmora video editor. 1. The editing trick I'm going to show you at number 1 is how you can center your body or face in a TikTok or any social media video. Like you can see the before and after results of these two videos. How much difference is seen in both of them? So for that, I have a video in the media. I drag and drop the video onto the timeline. I have this video something like this. First I'll make this video project settings. Go to project settings under player and click on it. Within the project settings, set the aspect ratio to 916 portrait. And leave the rest of the settings by default. OK. Now in this video we will place this girl's body and face at the center through animation. Always change your layout to short video layout for portrait editing. For this, click on the layout option above the player. And here select the short video layout. Now we will zoom this video through keyframe animation. Double click on the video. Place the playhead at the start of the video. Within the basic section above, unfold the transform tab. And here click on keyframe button in front of transform button. And then increase the scale. This will increase the size of our video. The size of the video should be increased so that the height of the video is not blank. And then also adjust the position of the video by position X. That is to bring the body and face to the center in the video. Then move the playhead forward. Here we have to add another keyframe. And in this keyframe also through position X we have to bring the position of the body to the center. In the same way I will move the playhead a little further. And in the same way I will add keyframes. In all other keyframes I'll just center the video by position X. And throughout the video I will keep the body position at the center. So you can see that we added keyframe animations in this video. In which we zoomed the video, and centered the body position in all keyframes. So let's see the preview of this video. Two, The editing trick I'm going to show you at number 2 is how you can make multiple clones of yourself in your videos. Like this. For this, I have a video in the media. I drag and drop it onto the timeline. This original video goes something like this. I drag this video back onto the timeline. And put it in the second track. Again I drag the same video into the track above the timeline. So you can see that I drag the same video three times on the timeline. After dragging, you have to select the second track video. And then click on background removal tool. In it you have to click on iPortrait option. So this will remove the background of our video. And then select the video of the above track. And remove its background using the iPortrait tool. I hide the video of the track below. So you can see that I remove the background of the videos of both the tracks above. After doing this, double click on the video of the middle track. Go to the basics section. Here, scroll down while keeping the transform tab unfolded. Flip the video inside it. And then go up. Reduce the size of this video by scaling here. I set the scale of this video to 90%. And I adjust the position of this video above and below the video something like this. I move the video of the top track up one track. So we will have an empty video track. Now right click on the second track video and copy that video. And paste the copied video in empty track.
And I also adjust the position of this video like this. Now we need to differentiate the movements of these videos. So that real cloning takes place. So for that, I slow down the video speed of this track. In this way you can easily slow down the speed. Drag the end of the video while holding down control. And the extra part of this video I split and delete. And select the video of the track below it. And go to the speed tool. Here I click on the reverse option at the bottom. So this video will play in reverse for us. So let's watch the final preview of this video. The trick I'm going to show you at number 3 is how you can color correct your video like an iPhone video. Like this. I got some comments from you guys asking me how we can edit our normal video like iPhone. So this video is special for those friends. So for that, I drag and drop the video onto the timeline. This video original is something like this. Double click on the video. Then go to color correction at the top and click on it. Here in the basic section turn on the white balance button. And click on auto button. Then scroll down. Adjust the exposure level. I put it at 77.1. Adjust the brightness. I set it to 17.1. Adjust the contrast. I put it at 22. Adjust vibrance. I put it at 100. And then adjust the saturation. I set it to 100. The light also has to be adjusted. I adjust the highlight on my video. And keep it at 7.3. I also adjust the shadow. And put it at 5.8. Also want to adjust the black. And put it at 6.6. .6. I think this color correction setting applied to your video will make it look like the video was shot on an iPhone. And you can see the final preview of this video. And you can see the result of both videos before and after video. Hope you like these 3 top editing tricks. Friends if you haven't seen Filmora 12 complete video editing tutorial yet. So you might be facing difficulties in using Filmora 12. So to remove this fear I have made this free Filmora 12 course for you. You can see it on my channel. If this video helped you, please like this video. I am always bringing good videos like this, so please subscribe the channel, and also press the notification bell. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.